I'm here with Coach Oliver Purnell of the DePaul Blue Demons. And, uh, Coach, offseason seems like it went by pretty fast. You guys are starting practice again. No, it really does. It went by uh, fast, which is a good thing, particularly when we got to be, uh, be about September 1st. We were really looking forward to practice. Already four weeks in, one week from our first exhibition game, and uh, I think we've got some good work in, but we've got a you know, lot, uh, lot uh, in front of us. But we're looking forward to uh, playing next week. You were very aggressive recruiting in the offseason. You even brought in some transfers along the way. What can you tell us about the new talent that you brought in? Well, we've got some size. Uh, we've got uh, four guys, 6'9 or better, they're brand new guys, uh, and, and some strength. Uh, we've got some young guys who are on the perimeter, Billy Garrett Jr., R.J. Carrington, uh, you know, good perimeter players. Uh, so we do like uh, the fact that we brought in what we think is some uh, shooting, we brought in some, some strength inside with Sandy Mar Marshes, the uh, four-year transfer from uh, Purdue. Tommy Hamilton at six foot ten, two fifty-five, two sixty-five. Uh, he's strong inside. Two junior college bigs, uh, Greg Sakalis at six uh, nine, and uh, Forrest Robinson at six ten. So uh, some new guys, size, strength up front. You talk about the size, something that you guys had lacked at one point or another in the last couple years. How do you plan to make use of these guys, and do you think it'll help improve your inside game and rebounding? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, what you look to do. Is we have a bit more physical team. We've been dominated physically a little, some uh, over the last couple of years. You know, hopefully we will... Uh, you know, we'll mitigate against that with that size and strength of our, of our new guys. So how we plan on using them, plan them. <laughs> of course, now with the new Big East Conference, no more Louisville, no more UConn, no more Syracuse. In your personal opinion, how does it feel not to have to go up against those powerhouse schools anymore? Well, uh, you know, that's fine. We don't have to go against them, and that's, that's fine. But we do have to go to Creighton, go to Xavier, and go to uh, Butler, which is three of the toughest places to play in the country. And that's that's kind of lost, not to mention what those teams have done over the last five years. When you look at that, you, re you recognize pretty quickly uh, that you're, you're not losing much. How does it feel to have DeJuan Romero back? Oh, we're, we're glad to have him back. He pr provides a lot of energy and plays extremely hard. He was giving us that last year before he went down with a knee injury. Uh, you know, hopefully he can stay healthy and provide us with a spark. Is he 100% right now? Right now he is, yeah. Cleveland Melvin and Brandon Young last year with those guys. Are you ready to have ready to see him have a breakout year? Oh, oh no, no question. Now, they've had breakout years individually, but now we want to have that breakout year as a team. We want to send those guys out as as winners. All right, thank you for your time, coach.